Today I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and that is test out or review different programs or pieces of software. Programs that I wouldn't normally do on my, on my main computer um, that I'm doing on my virtual machine. And this is Windows XP. I've just changed the theme of it to make it look like it's uh, 2000 or something. But this is XP, and I wanted to review and test out different programs that I thought I would like and but you know you kinda don't really want to download them sometimes because you don't know how they're gonna do if they're gonna mess up your computer or how they're gonna how they're, if they're gonna work as good as you think they were or whatever so I'm using my virtual machine here and I'm gonna be testing out different programs to see how well they work and if you have any programs that you like uh, me to maybe look at and try to review. Uh, just le just uh, email me or uh, leave some suggestions in the comments area. So the first one that I've decided to look at is a program called Cursor FX, and you get this from Download.com. It comes in a free version, then it comes in a paid upgrade version which is 20 bucks and I'll have a download link in the description so once you download it and set it up the cursor FX control panel looks like this and it gives you all these different things here cursors effects trails sounds um, a website to get more cursors and a settings uh, tab and looking through here by default it gives you some pretty nice uh, or different cursors to choose from I kinda like this hand right here and once you find one that you want you can just double click and it will automatically turn into this hand here and then each one it kinda gives you uh, these little things here that tells you what it's about uh, I believe this one takes you, let's see what it's clicking on that do. Okay, it takes you to wincustomize.com is what that one does. And it gives you a couple other ones here. This one here, this tab here with the yellow pencil, if you click on it, it allows you to edit these cursors and it gives you different things that you can edit on here but it uh... there we go but I got to noticing that pretty much all of these things here you can't, ex you can't use unless you get the paid upgrade for example up here in this top left corner it'll say cursor FX plus only meaning none of these enhancements here you can't do unless you buy the upgrade version uh, to do these trails from the cursor it's the same thing cursor FX plus only sounds uh, all the same so with the free version the only thing you basically get to use is these different cursors and that may be alright just for free but you know you're gonna have to decide if you want to drop 20 bucks on these few extra things here I decided not to uh, but for free you know a, a nice change of pace for these cursors isn't too bad um, but I'm a little disappointed that you don't get to at least try out a lot of these other ones uh, they don't let you try them out for a certain period of time or anything so this is basically it. This is uh this is pretty much all you get with the free version. And but if you like it, you can check it out. Uh doesn't seem to have any problems with it. Um you can change, you know, different ones. Uh, yeah, there's a gear. So if you like it, you know, check it out. You're not going to get much out of it other than just these and then the paid version is 20 bucks. So that's pretty much it. That's been uh that's been my review of Cursor FX.